What is up, Dogalon Mars holders? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at you with an update on the Dogalon Mars token, and we know that is gonna be ticker symbol Elon. Gotta let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is ever financial advice. Just giving you my opinion. Remember to drop a big like on this video as it does help every single Elon holder out there get off to Mars just that much faster. Definitely do consider subscribing as well to stay up to date on cryptocurrency news and all things Doggle on Mars and win amazing NFTs every single week. As you may know, I do giveaways every single week. Just so happens that today is going to be a giveaway video. So let's go ahead and do a giveaway. Go ahead and comment something to do with Doggle on Mars. And yeah, I will pick a winner on Friday. Friday, I will announce a new winner to one of my collections so great i appreciate all the support i get out there remember to drop a like and follow me over on my discord i do have a link right in the description now let's get into some doggle on mars news we are currently ranked 132 right now and boy it has been pretty volatile i will have to say it was up yesterday i've been very busy and i so i haven't had a whole lot of time to, to actually even look in on the market so it's very uh unfortunate to see that it did drop to the 4300s it looks like it did hit a low about 4278 before it is rebounding rather nicely though the entire crypto market is looking pretty nice right now i'm gonna have to say it does look like we are starting to see some green as we do know we are in the ninth week of a potential r red candle and i it's very unlikely that there will be a 10th red candle and we are um very very excited to see that we do have a lot of news uh if you are c concerned of what kind of rating right now dog on mars is getting it is getting a medium risk score right there so um i just want to drop that in there but we do have some big big news so i want to get into an article today that go that has a lot to do uh what's going on with the crypto market but before we do let's take a look at our holder count it looks like ah very nice very nice we are uh looks like about 137,646 holders let's go this is looking very awesome and our metric is looking uh, about the same it looks like about 26 percent of people in the money concentration looking very nice at 83 percent so uh large holders are continuing to Hodl. so very very nice to see looking at our price estimates we do currently say stay very bullish on this project it doesn't look like i am signed in at the moment though i do apologize on that i will get that into my next video but yeah so it looks like uh dog on mars of 10 million is going to cost you about four bucks and 45 cents right now community is feeling rather good these are these are good positive signs there's actually a lot of good signs on the metrics right now for crypto in general but dog on mars in particular is looking very very primed for a parabolic run that is that is goes without saying i'm going to have to say that is a a stone cold fact in my opinion with the amount of catalyst we have if you're not aware of the catalyst go check my pre previous videos uh, my last few videos will get you pretty up to speed on what's going on right now with doggle on mars so if you are new i welcome you to the channel but yeah go check those videos out because they there may be some dated information in there but there is some gems in there when it comes to this project now i want to touch on some uh big news that has to do with the crypto community. I don't think there's a way that anybody could go without talking about this right now. And that is going to be another than the uh, proposal that was uh, submitted by the two senators. Uh, it looks like it will uh, Kirsten Gillibrand, a uh, Democrat out of New York, and Senator Cynthia Loomis, Republican out of Wyoming, uh, have proposed a bill dubbed the Responsible Financial Innovation Act, which is aimed at regulating crypto. So this is huge news. There's no way I could not talk about this. We are going to get into this whole article, and hopefully this brings us up to speed on where we are at in this stage. I don't know how I should feel about this just yet. Um, uh, the deeper I've gotten into digging into this bill, I don't uh, know honestly how I feel about it just yet. So I at least want to at least drop it on you guys, let you guys know what is going on, keep you guys up to speed. So um, and then I can, I'll come back later and uh, 
I'll actually give an opinion because I haven't really formulated one based on the on the news. I'm, I'm still doing a lot of research on this, but I want to let you guys know what's going on. So two senators unveiled their crypto regulation proposal, and that is what is going on right now. Let's dig in. Two senators released their long-awaited legislation regulating cryptocurrencies just as calls for new rules to protect investors reached a fever pitch following the run on stablecoin Terra USD and its sister token Luna that sent shockwaves through the crypto market. Introduced by Senators Cynthia Loomis and Kirsten Gillibrand, the proposed dubbed the the proposed bill dubbed the Responsible Financial Innovation Act aims to create clarity for regulators and the crypto industry to safeguard investors and consumers. Under the proposal released Tuesday, crypto exchanges and product offerings will have to disclose risk of losses, how assets are treated in the event of bankruptcy while other while consumers are guaranteed to the right to keep the control of the digital assets they own. The legislation creates a common set of definitions for digital assets, virtual currency, payment stablecoins, and its smart contracts that everyone can abide by. The bill also attempts to settle the score between the Security and Exchange Commission and the Commodities Future Trading Commission CFTC, to define which agency has jurisdiction over what. The bill creates regulatory clarity for agencies charged with supervising digital asset markets, providing a strong, tailored regulatory framework for stablecoins and integrates digital assets into our existing tax and banking laws, Sen Senators Loomis said. What are digital assets? The bill makes a clear distinction between the digital assets that are securities and those that are commodities by looking at how the asset is used. Under the legislation, most cryptos are deemed commodities and given the CFTC clear authority over digital asset spot markets, noting the digital assets that meet the definition of a commodity, including Bitcoin and Ether, will be regulated by the CFTC. Smaller tokens like Cardano and Solana would be considered ancillary assets and presumed to be a commodity unless the, the uses of those tokens met exclusions that would kick them over the, to the SEC's purview as securities. The legislation offers exclusions when for when the token could constitute securities, including an interest or dividend payment or profit or revenue share with a company that comes from entre entrepreneurial or managerial efforts of others. The bill also codifies existing precedents under the Ho Howey test, a case law test that helps determine what's a security, which would fall under the SEC. The senator's staff felt the SEC was advancing what they did not believe to be the intent of the Howey test and wanted to set it in stone. The SEC pushed back on the initial bill proposal, causing the senator's office to refine the definition of an ancillary asset. The bill also directs the CFTC and the SEC to study and develop a proposal for self-regulatory organization that would work with regulators to help and increase efficiency and supervision. Unlike the Biden administration recommendation, a Loomis Gillibrand bill doesn't require that stable coins issuers become banks to be overseen by banking regulations. Instead, the bill requires a 100% reserve asset type and detailed disclosure requirements for all issuers to guarantee that stablecoin holders can redeem the stablecoin in exchange for the equivalent dollar value at any time. Wow. The rules also intend to make stablecoins maintain their value while protecting consumers. The bill also puts forth an optional framework for banks and credit unions to issue stablecoins and authorize a special depository institution charter under both state and federal law with tailored capital requirements. The rule proposal comes after a run on algorithmic stablecoin Terra, USD, and sister token Luna have renewed calls for regulation to protect investors. Uh, I'm gonna have to I I think that that is pretty positive in my opinion I'm gonna have to say I think that's that's great that uh, people won't have to be too concerned with 
losing all their money in a stable coin and something that is supposed to be stable by nature and uh let me know in the comments below how you are feeling about that crypto tax breaks for up to 200 dollars under the bill capital gains of up to 200 dollars from cryptocurrencies will be exempted from taxes a change from the 600 dollars threshold the senator initially considered decentralized autonomous organization or DAOs, as they are commonly known will be recognized as business entities under the tax code a DAO would have to be properly incorporated or organized under the laws of a jurisdiction or a decentralized autonomous organization which may include an LLC corporation partnership foundation cooperative or similar organization the legislation also narrows the definition of what constitutes a crypto broker for tax reporting requirements. After the infrastructure bill defined it so broadly last year, causing an uproar in the industry, it also delays its implementation to January 2025. The bill clarifies that the tax treatments of different players and actions in the crypto industry, including the miners and other validators, are not brokers for tax purposes, and that their rewards won't be considered income until redeemed for cash and that makes sense that that makes absolute sense elsewhere the bill directs different studies including commissioning the federal energy regulatory commission to analyze and report on crypto's energy consumption given research on the copious amounts of energy that proof of work crypto mining uses to validate and release new tokens another study the senators are commissioning by one by the Office of Management and Budget, along with the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the Director of National Intelligence, and the Defense Department to look at China's central bank digital currency. While the senators are rolling out the legislation as one large bill, it will likely get broken up and introduced as standalone bills offering a better chance of getting sections through committees for passage. Senators Loomis and Gillibrand and their staffs have spoken with other senators, including members of the Senate Banking, Finance, and Agriculture Committees, and have included important issues from multiple senators to garner collaborative support. And wow, I, that was a lot to unpack. I know that was a lot to unpack, but there is a a lot going into this bill and that is exactly what my thoughts were i didn't think this was passed as a standalone bill it would definitely get broken up but it is very nice to see what is on their minds when it comes to the crypto market so uh very very nice to at least get some clarity on where they are going to be headed with uh the whole bill what it's proposing what what they are trying to do and it is uh, laid out pretty clearly um at least as far as i can i haven't dissected the actual bill just yet i'm still going to be doing that uh just been a little pressed for time so i'm sure you guys understand thank you very much i do appreciate it if you guys watched all the way to the end and i will catch you in the next one